Hello, good morning, everybody. Today is uh, August 25th, 2023. Um, almost 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, my name is Jason Vasconcelos. Pronounced Jason, spelled completely different. But I'm the creator of uh, Lost Boys 2705, a channel that I created for my son and I to um, expose what we're supposedly doing up in Maine for the summer. Um, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm here today just to talk about the real reason why I started this channel. It's um, a little bit more um, complex than just uh, summer fun. Um, about five years ago, I was um, in a car accident that sort of left me a little <clears throat> um, unable. I don't like to say the word disabled, but unable to do certain things at the moment. And what brought me to talk about it today is that it's um, a rainy weekend up in Maine and uh, the rain really sets things off for me. I've been living with uh, chronic pain for but this time since the accident has happened and things uh, progressively got worse and uh, it's gotten a little better as well <clears throat> um, with the combined effort of uh, many doctors and uh, uh, counselors and uh, willpower <clears throat> um, it's hard to see how it really affects me through a video where I'm just sitting down but sitting is actually the worst thing for me it sets my back off and uh, it's kind of hard to uh, bring it back down once it starts hurting that bad um, it, it's just been a hell of a ride to say the least you know it has gotten me into financial problems due to my age uh, we assume that due to my age, disability keeps giving me the runarounds, even though I have more than enough proof that I'm just not able to work at the moment. Uh, that being said, I am also back in school, so I can learn a new, a new profession where my body's not um, the primary um, bread maker. <clears throat> Need to work with my brain now. But uh, if I have any goals at this moment, it would be to get some points across about dealing with people with chronic pain uh, based on what I've been through and what I've heard from um, other people in similar situations. But um, life stops. That's basically what happens. Life stops and everything else keeps bypassing you. You watch everything happen, and, and uh, there's pretty much nothing you can do. Um, like I said, I've been struggling with this for quite a while, and um, it, it, it hasn't been easy at all. Not at all. Um, which was what made me <clears throat> think that I should come out and, I don't know, do something to create... Uh, disability awareness um, not all actually most disabilities are not visible uh, if you look at me you think I'm healthy you think I'm put together and stuff but if we go for a walk <laughs> you'll realize that it's not quite that simple um, had to dig very deep in order to maintain my sanity. Um, once your life gets basically pulled from under you, you have nothing to stand on. Uh, that's when the, the trials really begin. And um, come to understand why people in, in certain circumstances do what they do. Um, I'm very lucky <clears throat> that I have my son that kind of made me push through everything and and, and, and withstand the storm and, and, you know, take the punishment, however you want to put it. But, you know, if it wasn't for him, I don't, I don't know 
how much fight I would have in me because like I said man things change completely you don't recognize yourself you don't recognize the world around you there's nothing you can do to really pick up the pieces and put them together you know time has proven that you know things do get a bit better but you keep trying to reach for that point where you used to be and the hardest thing that I had to accept so far is that I would never be the same again. Doesn't matter how much fixing we do, how many more surgeries, which right now I'm at eight surgeries in the last five years. Um, it gave me the ability to walk again, to move, to do a few things for me, but even taking care of myself is uh, quite difficult. It's not... Uh, the piece of cake that we usually take for granted, you know, oh, I have a headache, I don't feel like going to work today, and, you know, you can t take a painkiller for that and, you know, and, and, and move on. But chronic pain and uh, permanent nerve damage, all of that has left me in a, in a position where picking up the pieces wasn't really an option. You know, I had to restart. I had to to hit the restart button and, and, and start fighting for a new beginning, which finally has, has come. You know, I've been working uh, with a group of uh, professionals that have been amazing at, at, in my recovery and, 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 and restarting a new life, so to speak. Um, of course, I'm not mentioning names, but there are, there, are, there are good professionals out there too that do have your best interest in mind. You know. um, moving forward, <laughs> I'm, because of what I went through, I'm focused on uh, restarting something in a medical field. Um, <clears throat> you hear a lot out there about very unprofessional people, think people that are not in it for for what the medicine really is for it's all about a paycheck but there are some really amazing out people amazing people out there sorry about them amazing people out there that are genuinely like trying to help you they they don't like to see where you are they hear your story they actually have the time to hear your story over and over again and they see that you come from a place where it doesn't fit where you are right now. So I guess they kind of take that a little personally as well. And sometimes they even go a little out of their way to make sure that, you know, they've done something positive for you. And I thank God for these people as well. Um, it, it, it has been a very humbling and awakening experience. Um, you get to see who you are you get to see who the people around you are and what people's intentions uh, in your life have been all along people that have been in your life for years and the moment you're down it's uh, it's that easy to just walk out so I've learned a lot I've learned a lot I've been through a lot I'm still going through a lot but now at least I have peace of mind and and understanding and I have accepted my my condition um, I try not to talk about it in public so much anymore but it, it's crazy because I went so many years without being able to live a normal life that now getting back into it it's uh, I find that I don't have much to talk about except my my experiences and you know, that's uh, a little different from where I used to be. I used to have a lot to talk about. I used to have a lot to say. <clears throat> I could, one could actually say that I had too much to say. And to get to a place where I don't feel really like saying much, it's, uh, it's enlightening to say the least. You know, um, it has helped me to realize my mistakes it has helped me to 
realize exactly where I went wrong, especially with people. And all I've been doing is trying to turn that page, trying to turn that around, trying to be just nothing but a positive addition. Because what I believe now is that if you're not a positive addition in someone's life, you shouldn't be in their lives at all. Um, especially people you claim to love. Take a take a look at yourself and see if you're really playing that role. If you really fit in to what that people is actually offering you. <clears throat> that person or those people are actually offering you. And see if you are reciprocating it. If you're giving back enough you know uh, selfishness sometimes also can be something that you don't realize that you have until everything's basically taken away and uh, you're left with nothing you know um, um, starting from the bottom now I'm here now makes a lot of more sense to me because um, eventually one when you're growing up, you do start from the bottom and, you know, get to where you're going. But to have to put that on the back burner or erase it completely and start over, become a new person, um, physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, your availability, it's, um, it's a hell of a change, hell of a change. Um, it, it, this accident changed everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. In me, how I see myself and how I see the world, how I see others, what I expect from people, what I'm willing to offer, everything has completely taken like a, a 180 and started headed the other way. <clears throat> because at one point in my life, I. I passed the point of being a decent human being. So now it's kind of like walking backwards, trying to get to that point and just stay there. Um, it's, it, it's crazy because I have so much to say, so much to let out, so much to really expose. And I'm just not finding the path here, you know, I'm going to keep these um, spoken diaries uh, short enough so people don't get bored, if anybody watches anyways, <coughs> excuse me, just to uh, find my ground sort of thing, you know, this is the first video and um, I will be posting it, not with any expectations whatsoever, but Maybe if one person can get anything out of what I'm going to have to say on hopefully a daily basis, then I, my mission is accomplished. You know, if I can help one person, that would be fantastic. I'm not expecting anything. I'm not hoping for anything materialistic. Um, I hear about people becoming rich on YouTube and the only richness I expect is to be able to pass on my experience and, I don't know, maybe help in some way. Um, today is going to be a very long day. It's going to be a long weekend. We have three days of rain and uh, <coughs> the, the change in the pressure in the air sets my back off in a way that sometimes I can't even walk so we'll see what's going to happen tomorrow morning I should have another uh, update on my condition but I just wanted to introduce myself um, my name is pronounced Jason Vasconcelos I'm 43 years old and I am going through a life experience a life change experience that it's been nothing but amazing. Even with the down times, uh, I'm very thankful. God has saved me many times and now I'm able to see <clears throat> where I've been blessed and 
where I wasn't unable to bless others. So I hope you stick around, follow my change. This is my that this is my only goal that some people can get something out of this and uh, just let me know if you have any questions uh, be more than happy to answer and um, I think this is gonna be it for today um, if you're listening thank you and uh, hopefully we'll see you the next time probably tomorrow morning again up really early in Maine this is a uh, paradise and once the the weather gets better we'll go for a walk show you how to what I live with right now Okay. Hope you all have a blast day and see you on the next one.